the goal of finishing a landscape is a little bit different than the way you might finish other drawings. Oftentimes with landscape drawing, you're out for a limited amount of time. So if you're, say, in a situation where you have one hour or even 20 minutes to do a landscape drawing or even less, you have to pick a point that the landscape uh, should go to and you're going to sort of choose a stopping point. Um, with the sort of drawing process that I like to use, really anytime you stop, you should have an interesting looking drawing. It may not be totally finished or polished, but it at least is worth looking at because you've spent time designing it, blocking it in, and you're creating little stopping points along the way that that are sort of effective. So what I'm doing now is I fleshed out a lot of the tone in the middle stages and I've added a lot of texture. So now what I have to do is balance sort of two approaches. One approach is going back to sort of the beginning and making sure that I'm getting the overall visual impact when you look at it. Making sure that there's enough contrast, that there's a large areas of value blocked in. And then going back into the mode saying, well, are the textures right? Is there enough detail? Um, am I suggesting the correct locations of value? So now I can I can go into the sort of physically smaller areas and start to um, you know push darks in where there was an area of middle tone, or I can bring whole areas down from overall light tones into mid tones, and so on. And one of the in one of the interesting things that, that you can do with landscape. Um, is that as time progresses the light changes so when you notice an interesting lighting effect through the landscape drawing process you can bring that into your drawing so if the light hits leaves in a particular way for about a five minute time span you can kind of catch that before you move on you know if you're working on a cloudy day or a sunny day the effects differ and if you go back to the same location day after day um, the light changes and that'll give you something interesting to work with um, and it'll give you kind of a range of lighting effects to work with so you can kind of use the landscape as a reference to get a good drawing um, rather than being completely addicted to the exact look of the landscape and here you know I'm not going for a fully rendered exact landscape drawing with all the edges outlined and so on what I'm going for is this kind of soft tonal approach to the landscape where it sort of suggests what this landscape looks like and and maybe suggests a little bit of movement you maybe can't tell what the exact tree types are what the exact bushes are but you can tell that you're looking at this kind of like wall of forest and Ultimately, that that's your choice when you do uh, any kind of drawing, is to pick the effect that you want to have. And so here, I'm kind of maybe not coming up to the rendering level that I would in other landscape situations, but I'm, and so I'm sacrificing that in order to create this sort of like wall of fo foliage effect with this sort of far distant sky in the background, and. Ultimately, I think what we're talking about is a range of choices and working within certain time limitations. And that, I think, is what's most interesting about landscape drawing, um, is that you're out in nature and you're limited by it.